Hey, it's Chris Turner. I have a search today at Mission, or no, sorry, Chilliwack. Uh, it's about an hour and a half drive. I'm heading out now. It's five o'clock. It's dead rush hour. Uh, I'm going to get out there, hopefully before it's dark, but it's probably going to be dark. And uh, look for a very large ring that fell off the balcony when a young man was drinking and threw a can and it went with it. So hopefully we can find it. Okay, can you just show me what you're doing? Okay, so basically I was here, I was having a few drinks. Yeah. And there's a shopping cart in the tree, so I went to explain where it was. Yeah. So I went to throw the beer at the shopping cart to make a noise. Yeah. And as I threw it like this, the ring came off my pinky finger and flew. Like here, if I throw the ball, I'll kind of show you like, so it should have landed somewhere within like, that area okay without the bounce, without the bounce. okay either like 30 by 30 each way now it gets really tough if it went this way no but, it didn't go that way too much i'd say it's more or less this way towards uh, the tree or more or less this way here how much were you drinking a lot or just a medium uh, a few beers yeah okay but you enough enough to know that this is the way you feel it went yeah i know it did because i went down there and i found the beer can actually where it went so i know that it's going to go similar to where the beer can is okay See where that log's going up to the tree? Yeah. To that shopping cart in the tree, you can see it should be right around that area. I'd say 30 feet each way. Okay. It could have went. Okay. So this is... Yeah. I'm just going to go back to my car get some lights. Okay. I'll be right back. The problem I'm having yeah. is just the, the density of the bush. How's it feel though? You got it. <laughs> How's that feel, brother? I just pulled it out. Shut the front door. Hey. <laughs> I'd give you a hug, buddy, but I can't. I'll do a virtual hug. I'll How's do a that? Virtual hug here. <laughs> Holy. Thank oh, I you, just brother. found it now. Wow. I just found it now, and uh, it wasn't far. It was sort of by the tree trunks. God damn. How's that feel? I don't know how you did that, man. That's Dude, like it's a beautiful ring. It That's really magical. is. I haven't even looked at it. I just put it in my pouch. I came up here. I was going to surprise you. I didn't even know you weren't here. Yeah. So uh, beautiful. You must be a big open fan. God Raiders bless you, fan. man. God bless you. I got to say, <laughs> God bless you, man. Oh, uh, my pleasure. Holy. Oh. I can't. I got to show this guy this. I got to get a picture of it and oh. smile with you. So oh, yeah. I'm going to go get my equipment. Oh, I can't believe that. <laughs> How long did that take? About a half hour, 40 minutes probably. Yes, that's unreal. Was it under Was it under something? Oh yeah, it was under a bunch of stuff. It was by the logs that were broken down. Yeah. And I moved the logs, it was right beside the base of a log. Hard oh, to get with a metal detector. I can't but I, believe that. Oh my God, I hope they're not, they didn't leave. Shoot. Oh my God. No, he, he said he'd be checking. Yeah, that's unreal. I don't know how you just did that. That's insane. Well, that's what I do, man. It's, uh, yeah, good thing we called you. Well, I'm glad you didn't give up after you rented a metal detector, and I wonder how many people do that. Will you yeah, do me a I favor use, and share this with your friends and let people know? 100%. Well, I use this one, but I obviously don't know how to use it like the degree you do. Woo! I am... Yeah, I can't believe you actually found it. That's unreal. That is beautiful. This search took about probably 45 minutes. It was a tough one. I didn't get the footage of finding the ring, uh, but I found it right here, right by these logs, right underneath here. And uh, really hard to find with a detector. You've got to know what you're doing in here, that's for sure. And uh, God, I got to tell you, I was so happy to find that for him. What a nice young man. What a, what a tough area. He had a, a metal detector too. He had an AT Pro, it looked like. A good machine, but he's never used it before. So um, you can see from there, up there, down here, he wasn't throwing it hard. He was trying to get into this garbage can in the tree. It's not a, it's a cart, a shopping cart that's been grown inside this tree. And he felt it come off. He was in the right area. Hey guys, just that search took about probably 45 minutes. 
I got there just as it was getting dark. I uh, met Terry. He showed me what happened. He was up on his patio uh, balcony and he threw a can towards this shopping cart that was um, in the V of a tree. It was growing into the tree and he felt his ring come off. Now this ring was just custom made for him and uh, he only had it, I think, for a few days. So it meant a lot to him, obviously. And what a beautiful ring it was. I was really, really happy to find it for him. Got it out of there in about 45 minutes. Um, it was a tough situation. It was a it was a difficult search because of the terrain. Now, I don't put the videos I, I don't find rings in. I just finished a four day search, total of 20, 21 hours, um, looking for a ring that was thrown into a bush out of anger in White Rock. It was a, this guy's fiance's engagement ring he threw. I'm really good at what I do, but I could not find that ring. And I spent 21 hours. Uh, this one came out in 45 minutes, probably a little less, and uh, really happy to get it back to him. Thank you, everybody, for watching my videos. And um, thank you uh, very much. I believe it was Terry. Thank you very much, Terry, for the, the generous reward and uh, trusting me to come out and find your ring. Take care.